Meghan and Harry's explosives claims from biography, Finding Freedom, including Prince Harry's secret Instagram account. A long-awaited biography chronicling the relationship between Meghan and Prince Harry has now been released. Providing claims and revelations about the couple's meeting, marriage, work and departure from the royal family. The biography is not authorized, and this has been clarified by representatives for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who stressed that they had not been interviewed for the book and that the author's version of events comes from their own experiences, as members of the Royal Press Corps and their own independent reporting. Nevertheless, the biography Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan and the Making of a Modern Royal Family, penned by Royal Correspondents Omid Scobie and Caroline Durand, is making waves for its apparent behind-the-scenes revelations about a relationship, which has been subject to unthinkable levels of press and public fascination, attention, scrutiny, and harassment since it began in 2016, eventually leading the couple to step away from royal life in hope of a future where their lives will be less interrogated. Excerpts from the book were initially serialized in The Times and Sunday Times, with further extracts shared by magazine detailing a fractious relationship between the Sussexes and some members of the royal family and their staff. The early days of their relationship, lead up to the wedding, including clarifying previous tabloid stories, and the days preceding their landmark statement about become financially and physically independent from the monarchy. The book claims that the relationship between William and Kate and Harry and Meghan had deteriorated even before the 2018 royal wedding. Meghan and Kate have never been much more than acquaintances, the book also alleges. However, while not particularly close friends and let's be fair, many other sisters-in-law might feel the same. The book says they were not at war with each other like some sections of the media claimed, pitting both women against each other. The book suggests that shortly before Harry and Meghan announced they were effectively leaving the royal family at the start of the year. Relations between the Cambridges and Sussexes had soured culminating. In the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey where they barely spoke with one another. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's final outing in the book was the aforementioned Commonwealth Day service. But just a few hours before Meghan had tearfully said goodbye to the team she had been working with in the UK. And was particularly emotional about how everything had turned out. According to Finding Freedom, with the state room almost empty except for a few familiar faces. The tears the Duchess had been holding back were free to flow. I can't believe this is it, she said, hugging one of the young female aides she had become close with. Though Team Sussex was a much smaller operation than the more sophisticated offices at Clarence House and Kensington Palace, in the short space of a year since setting up, they had become like family. As well as the standard protocol for people joining the royal family, including training on protocol, etiquette and formalities. Meghan also had to undergo an intense two-day security course with the SAS, say the book's authors. This is standard procedure for royals with all members having had to take part aside from the Queen, and involves preparing for all types of terrifying scenarios including hostage situations and attacks. Following a tense few months, Meghan reportedly tearfully told a friend in March, I gave up my entire life for this family. I was willing to do whatever it takes. But here we are. It's very sad. Much of Harry and Meghan's upset was around not feeling supported by all sections of the royal operation. The book claims, with anger at leaks to the press and bureaucracy which meant some of their plans were put on hold. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were also saddened by the palace not clarifying false news stories, the book says. While it is very much the norm for the palace to not wade into every story about the royals, the couple were reportedly upset when they did issue a rare statement to deny that the Duchess of Cambridge had undergone a Botox procedure. After conducting their first date, a blind date, set up by a mutual friend. At Dean Street Townhouse in Soho, the couple's third date was in Botswana. It's long been known that the African nation holds a special place in the couple's heart. Meghan's engagement ring contains a stone sourced from the country and the mother of one has discussed camping there with her husband before it perhaps wasn't known that they holidayed together so early on. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.